Hello and welcome to the next session of interview preparatory course on top 50 SQL interview questions. Hope you are excited to solve another SQL question. So let's get started. The question is the most frequently asked question that is about inner join. What is inner join? Now let's see what inner join does. See the joins is used to combine data from multiple tables and here in this inner join data is combined based on some equality condition that is whenever there is a matching value in both the tables then only the data is joined and one more thing is that there must be a common column in both the tables with the same data type then only we are able to join the table for comparison of values there must be a common column in common column in the sense that it should not take it in the sense that it should have same name it should have compatible data types to compare the values in both the tables see the right table is joined with the left table row only if there is a matching for the left table row in the right table row. For example, we have a table called EMP. Observe the department number is a common column now which we are considering. We will display a table called DEPT. Select star from DEPT. See, in the DEPT column, we are having the same DEPT number column with four values 10, 20, 30, 40. Name need not be the same but well, data types must be same. Here we are having dem number type, number data type and here we are having number data type. And we are using this column for joining both the DEPT table and the EMP table. We have 10, 20 and 30 departments in EMP table. We have 10, 20 and 30, 40 department numbers in DEPT table. But the data is joined only for 10, 20 and 30 but not for 40 because there is no matching value of 40th department in EMP table. That means for all the 10th department account number, account de department name, location will be appended. For all 20th department employees research and Dallas will be appended. For all 30 department employees sales and Chicago will be appended. So this happens only if there is a matching value. Of the, uh, only if department number 10 value must be present in DEPT table otherwise it is not going to be appended. Now let's say a simple example select ename sal comma we will display department number of so you can display department number in any table so both are common you can display in EMP table or DEPT table the result is that only if there is a matching record then only it will be displayed comma D name comma location from EMP comma DEPT consider both tables where whenever there is a matching record for department number in EMP table with matching department number value in DEPT table that is 10 equals 10, 20 equals 20, 30 equals 30 but not 40 because 40 there is no corresponding matching records. For example if you have a department number called 50 then for that particular row no data will be joined because there is no corresponding matching record department number 50 in the DEPT table. Let's compile this query. Seven rows are displayed because for all the seven rows in EMP table there has been a existing matching record in DEPT department number. That's it. If you observe all the 10th department accounting and your values have been appended. For all 20th department Dallas research has been appended. For all 30 sales and Chicago has been appended. So if the, uh, for example if it is 50 department number 50 then it will not be displayed in the result set. Why? Because there is no corresponding department number 50 in the DEPT table. Understood no? How many rows are displayed in the result set of inner chart? It is very simple. The number of rows that are matched with the values of the left table with the values of the right table column. We have 7 matches. All the rows in DEPT number of EMP table have a corresponding match available in the right table that is DEPT number of the department table. Hence all rows are displayed. If there is only 5 values, 5 matching rows, then only 5 rows will be displayed. Instead of this we can use alias name because it will make the process easy. Each time it is very difficult to use complete name of table. So how can we do that? Select ename comma sal d dot DEPT number comma d name comma location from EMPE comma DEPT D. Now what happens is that all the data present in EMP will also be present in this alias name E and also all the data present in department table will also be present in this alias D. This is how you should create aliases where E dot DEPT number equal to D dot DEPT number. So output will be same only thing is that table name length can be reduced by using this alias name. Now we will see some more queries related to this inner join. Display employees who are working in location Chicago from EMP and DEPT table. The question will be directly that sometimes they might, you are, they might be asking directly what is inner join and sometimes they might not ask you directly but they will give a query 
and asking you to display the table columns that are not present in, uh, in that particular table and that column will be present in some other table. Now what here what we need to do is that working in location Chicago from EMP and DPT table. Simply add the location Chicago to the EMP table. That's it. Just add a condition and location equal to Chicago. What does it means? Only the matching records are displayed and that too only people living in Chicago are displayed because we have only one employee associated with department number 30 that is displayed. Display the department name and total salaries from each department. What they will do is that they will miss one column and they will keep that column in right table and ask you to join the tables. Display department name and total salaries. Just add select D name comma sum of sal from create aliases from EMPE DPTD where E dot DPT number equal to D dot DPT number. So that might be a common column of department number ID, something like that. So here our common column is department number. So we need to display sum of salaries of each department. Just use group by class, group by department number. So what they will say is that in this question, department name will be missing from EMP table that you should get from DPT table with the help of this join. This is how it works. Research department total salary is 9975, sales department is 2850, and accounting is 7450. So without using inner join also, we can solve this problem. But their requirement is that D name column is not present in the uh, EMP table that you should fetch from DPT table by using this inner join. That's it. That's all about inner join. With this, we have come to an end of the discussion. If you have enjoyed the session and it is really helpful to you, don't forget to like the video. Also, do share your questions with us in the comment section. Let's solve them together and help other geeks as well. Thanks for watching.